Lesson 12.7 Describe Triangles. We can use sides and angles to help us describe triangles. We can measure the sides to find if any are of equal lengths. We can find if there is one right angle. We can find if there are three angles less than a right angle. And we can find if there is one angle greater than a right angle. We can model triangles by using three straws or three sticks of different lengths. And we'll make a triangle that has three different side lengths. We can move this one here and this one here. We make them meet and we have a triangle with three different side lengths. We can model triangles by using two sticks of equal length and one different length. But the third stick needs to be shorter than the two equal sticks added together. So if we take the two equal sticks and add them together like this, our third stick needs to be shorter than both of these together. We can make a triangle like this and put them together and we'll have two equal lengths and one of a different length. If we put the two equal length sticks together and they're not longer than the third stick, it won't make a triangle. We won't make a closed polygon if the third stick is longer than the other two. And no matter how much we lean it down, to try to make it close, it, they won't meet. We won't make a triangle. So these two together would need to be longer than this one. And we can use three sticks of equal length to make a triangle because two of the sticks together will be longer than the third stick. If we put two of them together, it is longer than the third one. And we can make a triangle that has three equal sides, three equal side lengths, see? We can describe triangles by the number of sides of equal length or by the types of angles that they have. So this one has three equal sides and it also has three equal angles less than a right angle. This one has two equal sides and two equal angles, one down here and one down here, and one smaller angle up here. This triangle has no equal sides. This length is shorter than this one and this one, and this one's shorter than this one. We can actually take our fingers and kind of go like this and say, oh, no, that's shorter, see? So there's no equal sides or no equal angles, but one angle right here is greater than a right angle. It's open more than a square corner, isn't it? We have a triangle that does have one right angle. We need to draw a line to match the description of the triangle by its sides. So let's look at the descriptions. We've got three sides are equal length. We've got two sides are equal length, and we've got no sides are equal in length. So what do you think this one is? Do you think there's three equal sides, two, or none? If you said three, you're right. So we can draw a line from this dot to this dot. What about this one? Do you think it's two sides are equal in length, or no sides are equal in length? If it's really hard to tell, we can go to this one and see what this one is. Do you think this is two sides are equal in length or no sides? Well, if you said two sides, you're right. And we can connect this dot. And this is the only one left. Let's look at it. Let's look at this side. It's this big. This one is longer, and that one's a lot longer. We could also take a ruler and measure them, couldn't we? And this one has three different side lengths, so it has no sides are equal in length. 
and we use the sides to compare them. Now we need to draw a line to match the description of the triangle by its angles. So let's look at our descriptions. Three angles are less than a right angle. Two angles are less than a right angle. One angle is a right angle. Well, that one's easy because we can see this little box, can't we? So we can connect this one to one right angle right away. And what do you think this one is? Is it three angles are less than a right angle or two are less than a right angle? We can actually use the square corner of a sheet of paper to find right angles. We learned that in lesson 12.2, didn't we? We can actually take the square corner and see that that's less than a right angle. That one's less than a right angle. And we can see that this one is less than a right angle, see? We can compare it to the corner of a sheet of paper. So this has three angles that are less than a right angle. And if we look at this one, we can see that it's got two tiny angles here and here, and this one looks much more open than a right angle. So it's got two angles are less than a right angle. We can connect these. So remember, you can always use the corner of a sheet of paper to help you if you're having trouble figuring out if it's a right angle or less than or greater than. A triangle cannot have two right angles. That wouldn't be a triangle, would it? We would need an, another line to close it, and then it would be a rectangle. And it can't have two angles greater than right angles because it wouldn't close. And if we did put a line segment up here, that would be a trapezoid. So a triangle can't have two right angles or two angles greater than right angles. It could have one, couldn't it? We can use a ruler to measure the sides of a triangle to see if any are the same length. So we can take a ruler and this is the centimeter side because we see centimeters here, don't we? So these are all the centimeters. So we can line this up like this and see that that side is four centimeters. It's right here at the four centimeter mark. We can measure this one and see it's at four centimeters. See that? And we can measure this one and see that it's at five centimeters. Sides A and C are the same length. They're both four centimeters. And we can use the inches side of the ruler that says inch right here. We can measure this side and see it's one inch. Measure this one. We can see that it's two inches. If I put it right up like that, we measure it carefully. And this side is two and one fourth inch. If we line this up right like this, we can see that it went past the two inch mark. Here's two and a half right here. So it's not quite at two and a half, it's at two and one fourth inches. So each side is a different length and the ruler helped us find that. And remember, triangles do not have parallel lines because parallel lines do not meet. They stay the same distance apart from each other, don't they? So triangles can't have parallel lines. We can fold a triangle at a vertex to make two triangles. So remember a vertex is the point where two line segments meet. This line segment and this line segment or this side and this side meet right here. And we can fold it there and make two triangles, see? And we can fold a square or a rectangle at opposite vertices. Remember, if you have more than one vertex, it's vertices we can make two triangles. We can fold it at opposite vertices and make two triangles inside the square. We can do it to a rectangle folded at the opposite vertices. This is not symmetrical, is it? Because this is sticking out and down here is sticking out, but we can make two triangles. And the triangles are the same size as each other. So looking ahead, we know right angle and right triangle, and they have a little box there, don't they? They make a square corner. In fourth grade math, we'll learn different names for angles. 
acute angles are less than a right angle. They're acute and little. And obtuse angles are greater than a right angle. And in fifth grade math, we'll learn the names for different triangles. Equilateral triangles have all the same side length. They also have the same angle measure and are also called equiangular. If it's got two same side length sides, it's isosceles. And if all three are different side lengths, it's called scalene. You'll learn that in fifth grade math. So the most important thing to remember is that we can use sides and angles to help us describe triangles. In our next lesson, 12.8, we're going to talk about Venn diagrams and sorting polygons. I hope I'll see you there and you have a great day. Bye.